Now, the latest opinion conducted, opinion poll rather, conducted in Nairobi by the Center for African Progress indicates that Nairobi Senator Mike Sonko will be the next governor of Nairobi if elections were to be conducted today. Sonko leads his closest rival, Ivan Skidero, although with a small margin, Sonko enjoys a 40% popularity compared to Kidero's 32. Dagoretti South MP Dennis Waweru has 11%, while Margaret Manjiru, Wanjiru has 5%, and Johnson Sakaja 5% as well. Meguna Meguna is the last with 2%. And just to help us understand this poll and exactly how it was conducted, I'm now joined on set uh, by Abel Onchari, who is the director of the Center for African Progress. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Maybe you can shed some light on exactly how you conducted this research, uh, perhaps which areas and what was the scope of your research? Yes. Oh, so what we did is called uh, random sampling. Mm -hmm. So we prepared uh, questionnaires and distributed to various sections of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a very large sample of 3,200 particip participants. Mm -hmm. These are the, kind of, these are the guys who approached mm -hmm. and they shared their opinions with us. We had a very comprehensive uh, questionnaire with uh, specific questions, mm -hmm. both in English and Swahili, and they responded. Mm -hmm. The poll was conducted between uh, the 7th and the 9th of this month. Right. It's very recent. All right. Yes. And uh, just taking a look at some of the figures, because I have them here, yes. the overall support we see from your report is that Mike Sonko enjoys a 40%. That's correct. Uh, out of the, of the people that you researched, the sample yes. that you researched, and even Skidero following with 32%. Uh, then Dennis Waweru coming there at a distant third at 11%. What would you say are some of the things influencing this kind of voting trends and popularity? Now, what's happening is, okay, because we have a, a, a sitting governor, someone in office, mm -hmm. is, is expected to perform very well mm -hmm. in such opinion polls. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, Kidero has so many problems uh, around him. Talk about the corruption scandal that, touch, that touches on uh, uh, Supreme Court Justice, mm -hmm. Tonui, and then there's the question of performance. Right. Nairobians think he's not performed. Mm -hmm. Now, Sonka has mastered the art of playing popularity mm -hmm. politics. Mm -hmm. He pulls very serious stunts. Mm -hmm. And they've endeared him to Nairobians, especially those who dwell in low-income areas, right. slums. Right. You go to Mukuru Kwanzenga, mm -hmm. most of the guys who we talked to actually mm -hmm. don't know anyone apart from mm -hmm. Sonko. Mm -hmm. Who is your governor? Sonko. They don't know Kidero. Who is your president? Sonko. But Who's for the people you interviewed, it was uh, you know, spread out, not just in... in, in no, uh, no. Yeah, we went to various parts of the co county. And we have a problem of what we call tribal affiliation. Mm -hmm. If you go to a place like Kibera, for instance, mm -hmm. Kidera has like 100% support. So mm -hmm. as uh, people do research, we have to balance that. We right. have to go to all areas of the county to mm -hmm. get a balanced mm -hmm. poll. All right. Yeah. I'm just looking at another aspect here because you break it down uh, in terms of the kind of sub the support they get from specific groups and we see support among women. Mike Sonko enjoys 60% that is of, it. of support from the women and uh, Kidero following there uh, by 20%. Dennis Waweru 9% from the women and Margaret Wanjiru 2%. Yeah, from that the is women we're not supporting our own. It, it's unfortunate. Right. Uh, you know, it's always said that uh, a lady's worst enemy is another lady. Right. Well, you can say that from what Wanziru is getting. Mm -hmm. Now, Sonko seems to be, again, understanding how Nairobi politics mm -hmm. works out. Mm -hmm. When he goes to slums, mm -hmm. he has some handouts he gives to mamas, you right. know. And they, they, they thank him for that. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to, like, who do you think should be your next governor, mm -hmm. the name that comes to their mind is Sonko. Mm -hmm. That is how he gets to become very popular. Last time he went to... Uh, Mama Lucy Hospital. Right. And uh, paid bills, maternity mm -hmm. bills for like 100 women. Mm -hmm. Now, they remember that. They remember that very well. Mm -hmm. That is how it gets to perform uh, very well. Right. Uh, yes. Okay. There's a big difference between the other candidates mm -hmm. and Sonko. He actually mm -hmm. stands out. Mm -hmm. and, and because of his support largely to this uh, yes. the group of people who can't afford uh, you know, who live less than a dollar let's put it like that. Yes. And the next uh, category here is supposed to support among the youth. Mark Sonko still leading, getting 44% from the youth, and Ivan Skidero getting 27% from the youth. Dennis Waweru getting 15% from the youth. Margaret Wanjiru, would you say it's the same kind of pattern, uh, getting the support basically because of the same, uh, you know, the kind of activities that they are doing? Yes, okay. Sonko is different because mm -hmm. he needs to cut across the board. Mm -hmm. Now, 
if you look at this tribe, I think it's Kamba. I'm not very sure about mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. uh, there are very few Kambas in Nairobi, mm -hmm. so they cannot propel him to his position. Mm -hmm. so, so that is also a, a, a an factor. aspect that is really a 40, uh, you yes. know, affecting the trends. Yes, he actually seems to be collecting votes from all mm -hmm. tribes. Mm -hmm. So he's a different kind of politician. Right. Kidero seems to be getting support from just court supporters, mm -hmm. non waiper court supporters. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure you understand waiper. Right, right. Yes. So waiper supporters go to Sonko, mm -hmm. and then the rest, the rest of the court guys mm -hmm. go to Kidero. All right. And then, of course, uh, there is the issue of Waweru. Mm -hmm. He's just a member of parliament for the Great South. Mm -hmm. So he's not been able to map himself in the county. Mm -hmm. No. So we'll have to find out what happens in the coming days right. when he gets to like campaign vigorously. Mm -hmm. So now the figures you can compare, uh, the ones of Kidero and mm -hmm. Sonko, because, you know, Sonko, Sonko campaigned right. in the whole county last time. So right. And you speak it. about party politics, which is a big question now uh, with regard to voting trends. Do we see a trend where people are associating with party in terms of the policies they stand for or are bringing out, or is it a candidature kind of a thing, of a support? Now, for this particular position, uh, party plays a role in the issue of Kidero, just Kidero. Mm -hmm. He seems to be getting support mainly from right. court supporters. All right. Now, Sonko actually gets votes from court. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. it's about tribe. That is Kenyan politics. Mm -hmm. You cannot run away from tribe. Right. Yes. And um, perhaps I'm trying to see if I have that here. Uh, some of the issues that came up uh, during your, uh, your research, uh, the, some of the biggest issues that, uh, you know, the residents of Nairobi, and of course it has 17 constituencies all together, yes. what are some of the issues that they, you know, brought out as they want to be addressed? Yeah, there's uh, education, mm -hmm. there's healthcare, mm -hmm. talk about insecurity, talk mm -hmm. about youth unemployment, right. and then of course uh, transport. Now, the top issue... Oh, in fact, we have the percentages here that transport yes. topped the issues at 22%. Uh, Actually, security topped the issue. Uh, sorry. Youth unemployment. Youth unemployment. At, uh, this is not in the uh, yeah. hierarchy of uh, that percentage. Yeah. Youth em employment is an issue that topped at 28%. Correct. Followed by security at 24% and transport at 22%. I guess traffic has a lot to do with that. That is it. Right. Yeah, so there's so many young men in Nairobi don't have jobs, mm -hmm. and our education system does not prepare them very well for well-paying, mm -hmm. you know, jobs. Mm -hmm. So if you don't go, let's say, past Form 4, mm -hmm. you can only work in, let's say, a construction site and all that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, again, this kind of situation mm -hmm. positions Sonko to actually get votes from these guys because of the kind of, again, stance right. he pulls. Right. Look at the Sonko rescue team. Mm -hmm. Young men are employed there. Mm -hmm. Yes, Matatu, he's employed young men. So mm -hmm. when you ask him, who do you think is going to get your job? Mm -hmm. It's Sonko that name comes to, mm -hmm. to the mind. All right. That's a big, big problem. Again, transport. Mm -hmm. Someone takes, uh, let's say you have a, your personal car. Mm -hmm. uh, you stay outside in the outskirts of Nairobi, like Ronga. You'll take right. two hours to get home mm -hmm. because of infrastructure that is very poor. Mm -hmm. We had floods the other day. Guys died on the road. Mm -hmm. It's a, to a serious problem. Right. Yeah. And uh, perhaps um, uh, this, uh, the issue of uh, the youth, uh, just speaking about in fact, this is an issue that many viewers would actually want to raise because, you know, we have poll, uh, polls coming every now and then, and there's this thing called margin of error. Maybe talk to us about that uh, with regard to your research. Um, no. To what, what extent is this actually reflective of, you know, people's decisions right now? Exactly. Now, uh, the margin of error for our poll was 3.4%. Uh, meaning, if the difference between uh, Sonko and the Kidero is, let's say, 8, mm -hmm. still Sonko, if you add Kidero 3.4% mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. subtract 3.4% from uh, Sonko, right. it gets around the same place. Mm -hmm. So that is why when you said neck and neck, that's actually correct. So at 3.4%? Yes. If, yeah, if you subtract 3.4% from right. Sonko and then you add that to Kidero, they'll right. be, I think, around a tie. So All when right. you said neck and neck, that is correct. Okay. So the margin of error allows you to have some room mm -hmm. for mistakes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but what we did, because we have to avoid, again, just releasing figures for the sake of figures, right. you have to, like, go to the ground mm -hmm. and avoid mistakes. Mm -hmm. Kenya has a problem with opinion polling mm -hmm. because of tribe. Mm -hmm. If you go to a place like Kibira or you go to Mukuru and you talk to people from one tribe, right. you'll actually find 100% support for a mm -hmm. particular candidate. That mm -hmm. won't give you the kind of uh, realistic figures okay. you need. All right. So, yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Speaking to Abel Onchari, director of the Center for African Progress, just giving us that latest poll uh, showing us what is expected. If we were to go into elections right now, what kind of trends you can expect in the county of Nairobi. So thank you very much.